Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Giselle. So in today's video, we will be doing a clip-in install. So if you guys didn't see my last video, I mentioned some clip-ins I bought from Amazon. So today I'm just gonna show you how I install those clip-ins. So first thing I do is I section my hair from ear to ear. Um, accidentally deleted that clip but you'll see in another clip how my hair is sectioned but basically I just section my hair off from ear to ear make sure it's detangled and the lower half I put in this bun and I plait it down so since I don't know how to braid my hair this is the best thing that I know how to do to get my clip-ins to lay flat against my head. So, it works for me. I also do this under my wigs, and it works. So I make sure my hair is nicely moisturized and detangled, and once I finish braiding it down, I temporarily bobby pin it to my scalp, or bobby pin it to my hair, so it can stay nice and in place and flat. Girl, see how flat that is? Yes. So now we're just gonna be taking some Eco Styler gel and the hair. And I start off with the three clip length. Is that is that how you say it? The three the one that has three clips on it. And I just measure it to make sure it goes from my nape to nape and I just clip that in and basically I'm just going to be measuring it and clipping it um, one good tip I can give you if you do this style like I did is making sure that your clips go over your braid you don't want to clip until you get to your braid and then you start another clip on the other side of your braid you want to make sure your clips are completely over your braid so if you have to off center it some then do that but that's how you'll get your hair to look more natural and it will hide the braid so now I'm just gonna let you guys watch as I clip my extensions in and yeah So I did want to mention once I get to the very top, I try to find that bobby pin and take it out because that irritates my scalp and I don't like it. But yeah, now I'm just making sure all of the curls are popping and I'm really saturating this hair and combing it out with my fake Demon brush. Because this is the only way I can get this hair to blend with my hair. Okay, so now we're at the for front portion of our head and you guys can kind of see how I have my hair sectioned. I really just told you it's a rough section from ear to ear. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna be covering the rest. But now I'm just parting my hair the way I like it on the side and whew, you guys can see that my hair does not match just yet. Um, but really what I like to do is I like to be in front of a sink and really, really saturate my hair 
this spray bottle did the job I had to keep refilling it because I was using a lot of water um, but I need to use a lot of water to you know zhuzh up my curls to make them pop so it can match the hair but I like to take a few pieces on the side and blend that in with my hair as well so I wet the extension I put some gel on it I put some gel on my hair and a little leave-in conditioner on my hair as well and I clip it in and really comb through it or brush through it with the dimming brush to make sure it is incorporated with my hair. So I really take my time on this section because I want to make sure that when my hair dries and when the clip-ins start to dry that they dry together and it's one kind of like unified curl and there's no separation. So sometimes after I'm done with it I'll go to the sink and just kind of wet the hair some more just to make sure that all of my curls are kind of the same pattern and I put the gel on it to make it set. So now you guys can see that when my hair is extremely wet and has the Eco Styler gel, it matches the clip-ins really, really well and you can't even tell. And that's what we want to see, girl. Whose hair? This is my hair. You don't know. I grew this. And, you know, got it delivered from Amazon. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna stop talking and just let y'all watch. So this section over here is my problem section because this side is more of a 4A texture and the rest of my hair is a 3C texture. So what I like to do is I like to clip it down or bobby pin it down and then I like to make sure there's gel on it and I twist my hair with the extensions together and kind of let that dry. That way it will kind of manipulate the curls to form to the curl pattern of the extension and that way I don't have like a poofy side of hair that doesn't match because of course my hair is not one texture all around I have like 18 different hair textures but in the end I really like to make sure everything is covered and brush it out and here you guys see the hair you can't really tell where my hair ends and my the clip ends start um, you can tell a little bit about the ends where my hair is growing out from when I dyed it but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time Bye.